Mr. Peeps, let's take a journey to Arizona about 1,450 miles away from where I currently am. Before I get into the meat of today's topic, I want to give a quick mention that in at least one state in the Gila Monsters range, it is illegal to own one of these animals without a permit. Without a permit, you could be facing six months of jail time and a fine of $750. Leave them in the wild and check your local laws. I do not endorse removing wildlife from the wild. And now back to our regular topic. This lizard reaches 20 inches in length and typically weighs one pound. However, they can be heavier than that. Gila monsters are native to southwestern Utah, parts of Nevada, parts of New Mexico, parts of Arizona, and parts of California, as well as Mexico. They are commonly seen in the spring, in April, and May, but you might also see these lizards out and about in June, July, and August. They mainly feed on eggs of ground nesting birds, as well as other eggs. But they will also take babies of small mammals, small mammals if they can catch them, reptiles, and are even known to scavenge. They specialize in eating eggs. They can eat 33% of their body weight in one meal. Now, what's really amazing about these animals is that they can basically only eat three or four times each year. And much of their life is spent in their burrows up to 95% of their life. There are no reports of human deaths associated with this animal. They just want to be left alone, and as long as you don't mess with them, you shouldn't get bit. You've already seen a video on the venom of this animal, so I'm not going to get into that. At all. I do want to stress that you basically have to pick this animal up in order to get bit or mess with it in some way or another. This animal is shy, which means you may not have been following the rules when you got bit. They are known to climb, so you might see them in cactus or perhaps even in small shrubs. By the way, killing a, um, Gila monster is illegal, so don't do it. They are one of two venomous species of lizards in North America. The other is the beaded lizard, but you won't find beaded lizards in North America, at least not wild beaded lizards. And with that, I'm going to end today's video.